Our philosophy at LaGrande High School is this is your last chance to make a mistake and get a second chance before you go out into the world. Um, restorative justice is a, uh, is a system and uh, practices where we provide positive alternative choices uh, with the students um, and access for them to be able to stay integrated within the school system um, but at the same time prevent them from punitive measures which is being expelled, uh, suspended or uh, detention. Nine times out of ten, you know, kids make bad choices because they feel like they're backed in a corner and that they have no other choice and we need to give them an outlet to find that other choice. The goal is to uh, uh, provide um, uh, advocacy for the students so students can be able to um, um, restore equity and be able to continue uh, in a, a positive learning setting. Last year we had um, two boys that got into a fight. They were from different gangs. One was a Sereno, one was a Norteño. Um, they came together, they sat down in mediation, um, they ended up having to do some things together after school, and they actually became, I can't say good friends, but they, they became friends and were able to do some things together at school. Granted that with the students that I had in summer school were uh, great students, uh, but there were also some students that didn't see themselves as the leaders on campus. You guys are here to have fun. That's number one. The second thing you guys are here is to learn how to be leaders. My favorite part would be being able to see the changes in the students. Like at the beginning of the year, we had some students that were really bad at the point of expulsion, and then now they're getting A's and B's on their progress reports and stuff. Um, and if they feel that we've done an injustice to kids or we have um, mishandled a situation, they have no trouble coming now and saying, we need to sit down and talk with Mr. Martinez or you, Miss Alley, and we have some concerns about how you handled the situation with these kids. Kids, they're trying to become independent. They're trying to find themselves. This is the time to help them find that voice in a positive way, not in a negative way. And that's what this is about, helping kids have another voice, another decision versus well, I've got to join a gang so that I'm protected, or I've got to run away because mom and dad aren't listening to me. You have an opportunity to change the atmosphere at your school. You have an opportunity to be a voice when it comes to discipline on campus. You have an opportunity to change uh, the pathway of a student instead of them getting uh, expelled, to keeping them in school and having them to graduate and to you know, be a success out in, in the community for themselves and be productive. You have that opportunity. You're, you are the trailblazer. So really instilling them, empowering them, um, that open-mindedness to come in with your ideas, to come in to reshape the discipline policy that we have here on campus. We're sending kids in a four-year period out into the world where kids have to become adults quickly have to make adult decisions, and they are our future. And if we don't help them discover how to resolve conflict, how to find solutions to difficult problems, what are we setting our world up for? So changing policy is not easy. Uh, changing policy at the school level is not easy. Changing policy at the district level is more difficult. Uh, but when you, have, when you have it in your heart that that you're doing the right thing and that you're doing it because you really want to see the kids be successful. And when you have their input, uh, it, it is just uh, amazing. <laughs>